Now I work uh, about 18 hours, I rest six hours. Welcome to Colorado Celebrity Cribs. Hi, I'm Asha Blake. We're going to take you inside of some of Colorado's swankiest homes so you can see what life is really like for these local celebrities. Now this is the historic Brown Palace Hotel. And believe it or not, someone actually does live in all this luxury. But we'll have more on that later in the show. Kicking off our stylish homes, the one belonging to philanthropist Sharon Magnus Blake. Chances are you know her name. But wait until you see her magnificent house. Now, charity organizations are thrilled when they get the chance to use it. That's what was going on the day we were there. Check it out. It's time to party at the woodsy five-acre home of Ernie and Sharon Magnus Blake. Every day I appreciate what I have and I like to share it. Besides their time and millions, this couple will donate their home to more than 20 nonprofit groups this year to use for dinners and other events like this one. When it says uh, Denver Philanthropist number one, what does that make you feel? That, you know, it makes me feel great. It's the only word in the, uh, um, I can't pronounce. <laughs> <laughs> we only have about an hour before the guests arrive. Dogs following us everywhere we go. So with Kobe the dog leading the charge, we hit the ground running. Let's start at the entryway. It's magnificent. Oh, thank you. What do you love about this room? You know, this is my favorite room because as you walk in, you see the Rocky Mountains right there. And horses, they're everywhere, even in the backyard. You'll meet him later. Patience Thunder. But perhaps the best thing about this house is that it's so personal. We have to have the wedding picture in. Do you see Ernie holding the marriage certificate upside down? What's he saying? Mm, I don't know if I can tell that. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a picture of us with Garth and Trisha. I collect Christmas cards that were sent to me by different presidents. No fancy schmancy decorator items here, just lots of family photos and memorabilia that Sharon and Ernie have picked up at charity auctions. You have Don Henley, right. Brooks and Dunn, uh -huh. um, Garth Brooks, and Dana Carey. Do you play? No, <laughs> I don't. Move it, move it, move it. But I'll show you where she does play. Sharon, can we please look in your closet? Sure. Is that okay? Sure. Everybody's gonna wanna know. Don't you wanna know what's in Sharon's closet? I oh do. Boy. Do you love clothes? I love clothes. Oh my gosh, look at how many pairs of jeans do you have? I know you women out there wanna know about shoes. Tell me about the shoes, Sharon. Well, I got too many of them like everybody else. Hey, I like your purses, these are cute. I don't think anybody would be shocked at anything I have. Where's Ernie's section? Right there. He this only has this. Poor Ernie. Poor Ernie, I'm sorry, Ernie. <laughs> I'm so sorry for you, Ernie. This is all Ernie gets. Do you have a lingerie drawer that we can look at? No. You don't have it or we can't look no, at we it? we can't look at it. <laughs> can't look at it. Sorry, I tried. Now, I know this is top secret, but we get to see it anyway. This is Sharon and Ernie's bedroom. Check out the retro Christmas tree. They have all the retro um, ornaments that you can buy now. I remember those from growing up. How many Christmas presents will you buy this year? Over... 500? Oh, probably, yeah. And then I categorize them. So do you and Ernie fight over who gets what side of the bed? Oh, no, but temperature's an issue. You know, there's always gotta be one issue, right? Yes, there is. And speaking of Sharon's husband, Ernie, what's his favorite room? Now, Ernie, I wanna know what you really like about this room. It's a workout room, for Pete's sake. I love it. It's, a, it's an escape, and it keeps us in good shape, and we work out almost every day. Hang on, Thunder. It's almost your turn. Sharon, your kitchen's so clean. What did it look like this morning before we got here? Well, I was canning jam, so um, it was a little messy. You can jam? I do. Who knew? And finally, so this is Thunder, the horse I've heard so much about. This is the retired Thunder. The first Thunder. This is the first Thunder. This is the Denver Broncos mascot for 10 years. Do you want a carrot? You do? Okay, now this is the really important question for the evening. So, Thunder, do you watch Channel 2 News? I thought so. <laughs> a very smart horse, belonging to a smart and elegant couple. Party on, everybody. And that was some party. Well, as you saw, Sharon has a famous house guest, the Broncos' original mascot, Thunder. Well, now Sharon has also given the team Thunder's replacement, Thunder 2.